much. So first, I have to see a show of hands. How many of you have had one of our Double Tree by Hilton chocolate chip cookies? It's awesome. Lots of hands. So today, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we brought our team members from outside of the walls of the hotels to help us celebrate the anniversary of our world famous chocolate chip cookie. So the cookie turned 25 last year, and we wanted to make sure that we celebrated that with all of our team members. The cookie is a way for us to welcome our guests into the hotel, to extend that warm welcome that Doubletree is so known for, and get the guests to start feeling the comforts of home at any of our hotels. So the challenge that we, play, that we gave our agencies was, how are we going to take that connection that we make when we give that cookie out at check-in outside of the walls of the hotel? How are we going to take that connection into the celebration of the anniversary of the cookie? We didn't want to just do a big party. We didn't want to just do it at, you know, at one of our landmark hotels, like the one right down the street here, or in Washington, D.C., where we're based out of, because that's not really what we stand for. We have hotels in 19 different countries, so it wouldn't make sense to just celebrate that anniversary in one place. But we also don't have a massive team at our corporate offices. So we knew that we had to rely on those, those team members that live and breathe our culture every single day, welcoming all our guests into our hotels, and really get them excited about that anniversary and what it meant to the guests that they welcome and also to the local communities where they live. So the agencies all rallied together. We had some great partners that we work with. Um, and they brought up the idea of you know, using a food truck. We knew that food trucks were all the craze. And what a better way to travel the country and share our cookie with so many different cities that we could visit and with those local communities. We could have really just um, taken the truck to a couple of cities. We could have just parked it here in New York City. And we probably could have gotten a lot of media coverage. Um, and that probably would have helped us with our budget as well. But with the limited budget, we decided we're going to hit every major city where we know that we have some great hotels that would be very engaged with this process. So that came down to 55 days, 15,500 miles, 50 different cities, and 125 of our hotels that we visited, and more than 500 team members from those hotels that came out to be the brand ambassadors at every single one of those stops. And that's really where social media came in as well. The fact that we were going to be visiting 55 different cities and that we needed to get that message out there. We needed to make sure that we were engaging with our existing community, but also building even more excitement with all those different cities that we were going to be visiting. And that's where our team members also helped us. They were so excited about the fact that the brand was coming to visit their own city and that we were bringing this truck to them that they started spreading the word. They started using their own Facebook pages, their own Twitter accounts, and also the brand account to broadcast this message out there and really getting everybody so excited about the arrival of the truck. The team members became our spokesperson in each one of those towns, and they talked about the fact that we have this care culture, and that's where the name of the caravan came from, and it's all about creating a rewarding experience for our guests, our team members, and our communities alike. So they live it every day, and now they can actually interact with people that they might have never seen or people that might have never walked through their doors and tell them more about our cookie and what it means and how it really ties into what our culture is all about. So we started here in New York City. We gave out 50,000 cookies in one single day. We had about 60 team members join us from all of our hotels in Manhattan as well as from nearby cities. And we also had street teams going around. And we started seeing a lot of the activity coming in from people that said, I can't make it down to where you guys are at, but we would love a cookie. So when we got to Washington, DC, which was our fourth stop, we decided, OK, we have to find a way to hit those offices, those corporate offices from those people that could really use a cookie. And also, that's where Twitter came in. And we started what we called our sweet break. So we asked um, people through Twitter, and our hotels asked them as well through their own accounts, you know, tweet us that you need a sweet break and why you need it, and we will go to your office and bring you your cookies. 
Because of that, we were able to visit over 70 different corporate headquarters throughout our tour. We visited Livestrong, National Geographic, Disney in Orlando, Virgin America in San Francisco, a lot of different brands that you know just needed a little sweet break. They just wanted a little bit of our that cookie extension. And it also opened the doors of their offices to our team members in those local communities to come in, kind of get the presence of the brand and of those local hotels with those team members from those companies in that same community. But it also allowed us to engage with local charities. Part of our care um, initiatives is to ensure that we're really giving back to the local communities that our hotels are based in. So we also did over 15,000 cookies drops at, dropped at local charities. We visited the Children's Inn in Bethesda, for example. We visited Ronald McDonald houses in about seven different cities. The Dell Children's Hospital, shelters, um, a lot of different food banks and making sure that the team members from those local hotels were the ones that were giving those cookies in those specific areas. One example that I really want to use about uh, how our team members kind of came outside of their hotels and extend that, that message of double train is our director of sales from our hotel in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Her name is Pam Little, and she was literally with a boot on her foot because she got hurt playing softball with the hotel team. And she con connected with her local state representative. She got a proclamation from the state of Tennessee that declared a Double Tree Chocolate Chip Cookie Day when we arrived in Nashville. And she was out there with her boot handing out cookies for about six hours. And that is really what empowered us and really got us all excited because our team from DC could not go to every single location. But seeing Pam in action kind of really showed us how really excited and how happy our team members were to represent our brand and to take our brand outside of their hotels and really get the message across about the celebration of our cookie and what we were doing with our caravan. They also got to spend time with other teams in their local communities. So the example of Nashville, we had two hotels in Nashville, plus Murfreesboro and other hotels in the area. They all came down. They all spent some time with us. Um, they spent time with the community. They got to hear about you know, that person that said, oh my gosh, I always pick Doubletree just because my kids love the cookie. Or I can always you know, look forward to arriving at your hotels after all that long travel time and getting welcomed by that cookie. And with that also, we continue to build our community through the social channels. And now our hotels are fully empowered to engage with those consumers that they connected with because of that cookie. They're using Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare also to welcome them and letting them know that as soon as they check in, they're gonna get that warm cookie. We're not just a brand, we're a brand that's a collection of hotels, and every single one of those hotels has a very different personality. And those team members are allowed to go out there and show that personality, show what the culture means to them, show what the cookie means to every single one of them, take that outside the walls, build the excitement for it, build the excitement for where our hotels stand for, how they want to welcome the traveler, and ensure that everybody gets the message, whether it's in person or just be via a simple tweet. Because of that massive effort from team members, agency partners, as well as our, local, our headquarters, we were very, very happy to see over two billion media impressions, lots of TV and radio mentions, lots of newspaper pickup as well, more than 30,000 new fans on our Facebook page, and some pretty excited local communities. We also had to tie in a sweepstakes piece to it. Uh, we were giving out bonus Hilton Honors points via social engagement. And now we honestly feel like we have much more engaged team members as well as much more engaged hotels with social media and with what the brand is doing. So 275,000 cookies later, my message to the audience of the brand's conference is that the simple idea of this warm cookie and taking those team members outside of the walls of the hotels and letting them engage with social media channels and with their local communities, with charities, with corporate offices, in our books at Equal Success. It meant a lot to us and it got the message across that all we're doing here is creating a rewarding experience for our team members, our guests, and our local communities alike. So now stay tuned for what we'll have in 2012.
It won't be the same caravan, but it'll be something along the lines of taking it on the road. And we look forward to having you guys join us and enjoy more of our cookies along the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.